Hi, this is Dr. Murat Çevikbaş. Today we are together to elaborate the delay types. Delays can occur on either critical activities or non-critical activities. Delays in critical activities affect the completion date of the project and result in an extension of time. Contractors are entitled to EOT and compensation under some circumstances. If a delay is critical, parties have rights and duties regarding it. From now on, I will refer to critical delay simply as delay. Delay is divided into two categories, excusable delays and non-excusable delays. Excusable delays consist of excusable compensable delay and excusable non-compensable delay. Excusable compensable delay results from the owner. For excusable compensable delays, the contractor is entitled to both an extension of time and compensation. Excusable non-compensable delay results from force measure. For excusable non-compensable delays, the contractor is entitled only to extension of time and not to compensation. Non-excusable delays result from the contractor. And in this case, the contractor doesn't have the right to an EOT or compensation. The owner may claim liquidated images according to project contract. I will provide an example illustrating the different types of delays in a case study. Let's say this is project A. I will demonstrate the baseline schedule on a simple gun chart. This is baseline schedule. These are mounts starting from 1 to 10. Let's add borders to these areas. Consider baseline schedule finishes at the end of mount 6. Like this. I will improve the layout of the schedule. I will copy baseline schedule and paste as an as built schedule. This will be as built schedule. The pink color indicates the contractor's delay. This will be contractor's delay. Consider there is a two month delay resulting from the owner, represented by the purple color. This will be owner's delay. Also, I will add another type of delay caused by force measure. This will be X of God, also known as force measure. This is a contractor's delay, delaying the project for a month. These are the owner's delay, delaying the project for two months. There is also a one month critical delay, resulting from force measure, represented by the green color. Let's compute the rights of the contracting parties. This will be contractor's delay. This is the owner's delay. This is a delay resulting from X of God. Okay, we are going to distribute the delays and calculate the period of prolongation delay. I will set the borders like this. This is the delay in mount. I will adjust the appearance of the columns. It's like this, okay. This is EOT column. 
and this is prolongation called column. The owner's delay represented by the purple color is two bounds. Force measure represented by the green color is one bound. When delay results from the contractor, the contractor has no rights to UTM compensation. Okay. If there is an owner delay, the contractor has the right to both UOT and compensation. If the delay results from X of God, the contractor has the right only to UOT, not compensation. We have reached the end of our lecture on delay types. You can write your questions in the comment section below that I will try to respond as quickly as possible. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button.